Welcome to another episode of Grub Masters. Today we're doing blueberry bread pudding. Johnny, tell me a little bit about your bread pudding. What do you do here? You know, Chris, I love bread pudding. Yeah. It's part of my childhood. It's a great kind of, I want to say refrigerator food, but it was kind of like stale bread food. You had that bread box back in the day, you had some bread, it was getting a little old. Yep. Bread pudding in. Right, right. Loved it. Um, and I actually made this on one of my first trips out winter camping in a Dutch oven, and it was just great because it's so cold. All food goes up at least two points on a scale of one to 10 sure. when it's cold. Came off, I bet you it didn't last very much longer than a minute. Yeah, it's like 15 seconds because yeah. it was warm right out of the oven. Oh, yeah, so good. So. Yeah, I love bread pudding. I could eat it for breakfast, dessert, dinner, whatever. Yeah, I yeah. mean, breakfast for sure. Absolutely. Yeah. So, um, simple, simple ingredients. If I have to buy, like in this case, bread, because in my house, bread doesn't really go stale. We love carbs. Yep. Um, I like to get hamburger buns because they're already sliced. Yep. They're easy to peel off. And I know 10 does a 10 inch Dutch oven. 10, Fluffy, 10. cheap. Yeah, exactly. Like it. Um, so first step is we got to melt a whole stick of butter. Butter makes everything better. And what we're going to do is we're going to fire up our chimney, get it rocket hot, Dutch oven right on top, and melt the butter. Let's do it. John. Coals are rocket hot right now. Let's get to uh, melting some butter. What do you think? All right, yeah, so let's pop our lid off. Yep. And again, we're gonna make use of our chimney. So we're gonna set this right on there. All right. You know, do be careful. We're putting a whole stick of butter in here, so there's not like a lot of weight. And it's like half melted anyway. It's like 90 degrees here, if you can't tell. All right, wanna whisk me? I'll whisk you. And this is melting like butter. Oh yeah. And in 90 degree weather, just like that, our butter's melted. Yeah, that took all, right. all about 15 seconds. Right, so, okay. Um, we're gonna set this down. All right. And we're gonna attempt to build this all in one pot. We may fail, but we're gonna try to do it because it's less, less clean. This is happening, John. All right, so, um, cup and a half of sugar, hit me. And that butter's pretty hot, and the Dutch oven's a little warm now, too, so we don't want to throw our eggs in there right away. So no. why don't you hit me with uh, two cups of milk? Hey, you throw the eggs in right now, you're going to make scrambled eggs. You're not going to have a uh, very good bread pudding after that. All right, why don't you hit me with a uh, smackadaddle of uh, vanilla? Smackadaddle, do you? probably a triple smackadaddle. But I like vanilla. You like vanilla. Yeah, we all like vanilla. All right, so this is largely all of our wet. Um, all right. Three cracked eggs. Three cracked eggs. And we're gonna whisk them in. That looks pretty good. Right in. Whisk quickly. Beautiful. Yeah. All right. Um, let's season it now. All right, yeah. so what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna put a pretty healthy dose of cinnamon in there. That's great. And now a little bit of nutmeg. I get canned or, you know, whatever, commercial cinnamon, because I'm not going to peel bark or shred that or anything. Right. But I am a bit of a nutmeg snob. We live in Connecticut. If you're going to be a nutmegger, yeah. this is the place to do it. Nutmeg steak. Real nut. Grate it. Fresh. I love nutmeg. All right. Oh. Okay, so. Luckily, the nuts float. That was the perfect amount of nutmeg. Thank you, sir. <laughs> All right. So, our hamburger patties, they're already split, right? They're already nice, light, fluffy bread. All we're going to do is we're going to start tearing them off and dropping them in. That's so uh, why don't you join the party and let's get these 10 patty, uh, 10 buns into the sauce. All right. All right, that is perfect. And you can see this has come up pretty high, but yeah. once the liquid hits, it's going to mash down a little bit. Now, blueberries. Yeah. Star of the show. Right. Fresh blueberries, blueberry season here. Um, we're going to put some blueberries in there. It's Better than raisins, I'm telling you. Yeah, I'm not a big, huge fan of raisins. I do like blueberries. All right, blueberry me. All right, let's get some of these oh, in there. Oh, wait, wait, that's right. We want to reserve a good handful of these blueberries. Yeah, we want to put a few on top. Just a handful, put them on top. Makes for nice presentation, presentation. Pur purposes there. Absolutely. All right, so now we're going to mix this up, get it all wet, thoroughly incorporated, and then we're going to throw the spurs to it heat-wise. Let's do it. All right, can I have the spatula? You may. 
mixer. Now, less is more here. You don't want to turn this into mush. You want to kind of fold it in the best you can, have that liquid incorporate without just absolutely turning into like a mashed potato consistency. Right. You want to get the bread wet, but you don't want to break it down per se. Looks pretty well incorporated now, Johnny. That's in perfect, yeah. perfect shape because it's it's still got some integrity of bread there, right? Yeah. We didn't mush it down. All right, so now let's delicately place some nice blueberries on top for the presentation. Yeah, there's a couple spots here that, you know, you don't see them right away. I want people to know, hey, there's blueberries in here. Right, right. Hey. And don't be cheap in the ingredients. There's like a good pint of, uh, of blueberries here. And this is a 10 inch shallow Dutch oven. All right, John. What do you think? That is beautiful. All right, good. let's lit her up and let's get some uh, top coals on there. And we're gonna use the ring method as we always do when we bake. So we're gonna have a nice ring of coals on the bottom, a ring of coals on the top. We're gonna maintain that right. for about an hour. That's gonna, what, what do you think? That's, it's always been about 350 in our about estimation. 350, yeah. yeah. If, you, if you had to do this inside, you know, in your oven, you put it in there, same ingredients, same everything, 350, about an hour, you're gonna get the same result. Outside, Dutch oven, ring method. All right, I can't wait until this is done. Let's do it. The moment yeah that we've been waiting for it smells good out here john it smells really good yeah so let's uh pop the lid let's see how we did <laughs> and actually chris let's get this right off the heat so that we don't do any more cooking right oh yeah now you want this to be just a little bit wet you don't want it to be dense like a cake right no so, no right. Um, and i see a little jiggle there but i think that is just the right amount of jiggle oh yeah it's set up nice all right let's dig in man i like it Oh yeah. Oh yeah, blueberry right through. Mm. Love it. The cinnamon. Hot. Why do I always take such a big bite? I don't mean <laughs> to, because I, I have big eyes, that's why. This is a home run. Um, we hope you like what you saw here. Fresh blueberries, without a doubt, makes this amazing. Yeah. Um, it's like French toast with blueberries, but outside and just custardy goodness is a little bit different. I don't know. I love it. Anyway. Delicious. Give us a like. Give us a subscribe. Comment. Get out there and cook.